Yes, Mr. Perslow, I know we've dropped out of the top four, but, you know, it's only on goal difference. Well, you did only request Europa League. Yeah, I agree. Champions League would be much nicer. Yeah, I would also love a day out at Wembley, sir. I will, uh, I will do my best. Villain and welcome back to Aston Villa. It is episode 9 of our beta series on FM and today we have uh, two games to obviously we have two games. The first is in the league against Brighton. Now we are currently uh, we have dropped out of the top four on goal difference only a point behind Man United in third. Um, we have a game in hand on them as well which is this game against Brighton. Brighton are currently struggling a little bit down there in 17th so it's a big game for them. They want to obviously kick clear of the relegation zone uh, and we are away from home so it's not going to be the easiest game but but then there is a chance to go to Wembley as we go to Leicester in the FA Cup quarter final. And you can see the other uh, draw there. I mean, the Manchester Derby, so obviously one of them is going to go. Everton, Chelsea, Everton won the Carabao Cup. So they're a decent ish cup side, you would think, if they've won that. And then Watford, Spurs, Watford are a championship team. You'd imagine Tottenham would win that. So it's not going to be an easy semi final if we get there. But uh, let's hope we can, in fact, get there. But first up, it is uh, Brighton. You've missed nothing since last episode. And this is what's happening. It's a uh, defensively-minded uh, 4-3-3 from them. False nine up front, too, with inside forward. So we're going to try and, and force them wide as much as possible. Uh, this is the team we're sending out. Martinez in goal. Digna, Corta, Carlos, and Chambers as the back four. Kamara, McGinn, and Ceballos as uh, the midfield trio. We've got Despertov and Bailey providing the width. Ings, hopefully, providing the goals. And we do have Buendia back fit on the bench uh, if we need him. Hopefully, we won't. But uh, we need to get a little bit of match fitness back into his legs after injury in any case. Okay, so we can see the team sheets there. Bruno Lange is their uh, manager now. Uh, Nakemba, who we sold to him, is on the bench, uh, which is probably exactly where he would have been for us. So he's just created one bench for the other one, it looks like. Uh, and what do we say to this? We should be winning this. Make sure you do. Uh, let's, 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 let's take a little bit of pressure off here. Um... Yeah, I mean, it would be fantastic to get top four, but of course, uh, I should have just uh, shut my mouth there. You know, the board didn't ask for that. Uh, they wanted uh, Europa League football, which we're looking we're looking fairly strong for just now. Obviously, there's still a, a fair whack of the season to go, so we don't want to count our chickens just yet. But certainly, you'd hope with the position that we're in that top, f uh, top you know, European football. I mean, we've got to finish above Palace and Wolves. So it's only a four point gap. They have played more games. Um, but yeah, when you're so close to top four, you do just kind of want that, don't you? So we'll see how we go. We are competing against very big teams with very big squads. So yeah, injuries could well determine what uh, what we can do. Now I have was looking at uh, right back options. If uh, Chambers was to get injured, there was it was suggested that Konza could do a job there for us, which is absolutely true. He could. Um, I actually think though I might favour Dan Donka. If we can train him there. So Bios with a good run into the penalty area. And draws a good save off the post. I think it was. Digna tries to keep it alive for us. And uh, we go back and... Well, that will end the highlight. But a chance from Sabios, And he wasn't a mile away there, was he? Let's encourage them again. I do wonder a little bit if we want to be more adventurous here. We're dominating the match momentum for what that's worth. We'll go attacking. They do score a lot of their goals from through balls. So we're sitting just that little bit deeper. We're not necessarily playing a high line, just sort of a standard line, just to try and give them less uh, less space to play those through balls into. But another half of football where not too much has happened. So we'll have a little bit of a go at them. And what we might look to do is maybe drop that line even a little bit deeper. But we'll look to... Uh, let me think about exactly what we want to do. Okay, so we are going to be more attacking both in mentality and in formation. Uh, the other thing we're going to do is we're going to look to uh, pass the ball into space at a higher tempo and work the ball into the box. And hopefully, uh, yeah, we'll see if that gives us a little bit of a benefit. Buendia is coming on for Kamara, who is booked, which is the main reason why I've taken him off. It would either be him or Sub him, Sabayas, or McGinn, obviously, that would have to go off. And, uh, well, I've decided that the booking is perhaps the most important thing to get off the field. We've got a corner here. Digna to take. It's uh, not the best. Headed away at the near post. Is he going to get to that first? He is. Lamptey's pretty quick, I think, isn't he? So there was a little bit of a risk there. 
Here we go with McGinn now. McGinn looking for Leon Bailey. Bailey's in there. Uh, can we find a teammate in the middle? He crosses. It goes to Despotov, who's got a little bit of space now. We need to find someone a little bit closer to the goal. And it's headed away. Chambers down to McGinn to Buendia. Buendia to Bailey. Oh, and just didn't have the finish. On another day, we could find ourselves 2-0 up, but we are just not looking particularly sharp in front of goal just now, are we? Let's try demanding more. Ings is having another poor day. Uh, so we'll take him off. We'll get a Rezo on. Let's give it a focus. And are we just getting to this point of the season, sort of the money point of the season, and just finding ourselves freezing a little bit in front of the big lights? All right, let's take Despotov off for Watkins. Watkins can go. Oh, we'll have to wait till he gets on, so we'll just do it this way. We'll put him in as an, inf uh, an inside forward. Try and get him a little bit closer. Um, yeah. Let's do that. If we try a berating, maybe. Buendia is looking nervous, which isn't ideal. And what we don't want is to concede a goal here because that is not the result we want from a relegation-threatened Brighton game. Ceballos gets a decent ball down the line. Bailey's nicked it off the uh, Brent Brighton defender. And let's see if we can get something going on the break here. Not quite. Not quite. And Nakemba on the field. Oh, it's a poor pass. Digna easily intercepts. All right, here we go now with Bailey. Bailey to Buendia. Buendia, cross field. Good ball to find Chambers. Chambers, oh, it's just not quite happening. Is it a Rezo does his best? And is that going to be a red card? I'm assuming it is, or else why would the referee have stopped it? So let's stop passing the ball into space. But we just need to create... I mean, it's the 80th, 90th minute, basically. Can we get anything here? No, we've just... We've completely lost it in front of goal, haven't we? A good defensive performance from us. We created chances. We just couldn't take them at the key moments. And... Well, yeah, we should have won that game. But a point is enough to take us back up to third. But of course, we saw their run in the last month of the season is absolutely ridiculous. And we really do need to be picking up maximum points here. So spoils shared as Nakemba and Aston Villa in your acquaintances. Uh, surprise results are lead the way. Wolves beat Chelsea is what they're referring to there. And guys, wait right there. We'll put the lead to one side. It's FA Cup football next. We go to Leicester in the quarterfinal of the FA Cup. Okay, welcome back. We are getting ready to host, though, we're not getting ready to go to Leicester. You can see, though, Everton 3-0 over Chelsea. Calvert-Lewin destroying the Chelsea defence. So uh, Chelsea are out. Uh, the other semi-final, uh, sorry, quarter-finals have not happened yet, so we won't know uh, who potentially we're going to get until next episode. Uh, and a little bit of good news coming into this one is that Douglas Louise is happy again. I thought he would be. Um, I was just trying to sell him, if you remember, to make up a little bit of cash to get that def a young Italian defender in. But uh, he's happy now, so that's absolutely fine. And the other thing that has happened, and it's going to have minimal impact on this series, to be honest, but we've got our youth intake, and uh, well, it's probably you know first one of uh, the new FM that's worth having a look at. So we've got some defenders here, promising centre-back, although it says that uh, he's a left-back, which he's not. Um, yeah, I mean, it's, it's a decent enough left-back, a model citizen, which is excellent, from Sam Hazlitt. Uh, I think... What I'd really like to see, and obviously time will tell, and um, we'll see a little bit more on the Impossible Dream, uh, which is going to be in Iceland, by the way, um, if you if you don't didn't see on Twitter or Discord yesterday. Uh, just when you invest in your in your youth, just to make sure that you actually get better youth intakes, not maybe every youth intake, because that's not realistic, but certainly you should be getting more useful players than not. So. Yeah, I mean, it, it's a little bit promising that obviously Villa has a good youth system and we, we've, we've seen that here. So, yeah, let, let's just hope that that, uh, that is something that's a little bit better on this version of the game. But uh, anyway, let's go and have a look and see what we're doing here against Leicester. We are expecting them, uh, sort of the same formation as Brighton, a defensively minded 4-3-3. Uh, and this is the team that we are sending out. It is uh, Martinez in goal, Digna, Quarter, Diego Costa, uh, Diego Costa, Diego Carlos even, and uh, Chambers. Kamara, D Douglas Luiz comes back in with Buendia in midfield, just trying to be a little bit more attacking in that sense. Uh, Cole Palmer's going to play as an inverted winger with Bailey. Ings goes up top. I've had a word to Ings about his form. 
He's wanted right now by Everton. Uh, he's, he's fallen off a little bit, so hopefully he's going to pick up. Despotov's another one that's fallen off. I had a word to him, and uh, we're just, McGinn, just not really getting much done for us in there right now. So, yeah, let's hope this works, and if we need to go more attacking, then we can just move Kamara and Brandia forward, and we'll be all set. Okay, so we can see the team sheet there, but yeah, uh, Marcelo Bielsa is the Leicester City manager now. Uh, there's a lot of familiar names in that Leicester side. I mean, it's the first season, obviously. It's going to be more or less the same team. All right, what do we say to this? Just go, go out there, put on a show. I mean, maybe that's what we need to do. We need to be a little bit more adventurous in my team talks rather than so there's no pressure. Just don't stuff up, please. All right, and here we go. Now, we did do a week of attacking training coming into this one. Obviously, goals have dried up for us. You know, we've had, uh, what, two nil-nils and a one-nil win in the last round of the Cup against the championship side, albeit top of the championship. So, yeah, we'll see. We'll see if we see a benefit of that here. Um, yeah, I'm not really sure. I mean, maybe it's a case of we were overachieving, which we were, to be fair, overachieving earlier on in the season, and that's just coming back a little bit. Uh, I mean, not having Coutinho, I think, has hurt us as uh, Bailey tracks back nicely there. Because we've kind of lost that natural number 10 now. Buendia is back, so he could fill that role for us as Dewsbury Hall sends one into the fans behind the goal. Uh, so given that actually that they have a more defensive light up, maybe it's, uh, it's a good opportunity for us to, to stick Buendia forward and, and try and uh, be a little bit more attacking. They're a Gagan pressing side, as you'd expect from Marcelo Bielsa. So we've just got to be a little bit careful in possession. There's a nice ball, though, to find Palmer in a little bit of space. Palmer in there for Douglas. Douglas for Ings. Ings with a good first touch, and Ings with an excellent second touch. But the linesman has his flag up. Stick your flag down, you muppet. VAR's going to check it. If we're onside, VAR will tell us, and we're not onside. Well, that's a little bit unfortunate. It was uh, nicely worked, and oh, he's only just, only just. Well taken, though, wasn't it? If we can see more of that from him, then we'll be very pleased. But not much is happening, 20-odd minutes into this one. And we've got another highlight. And let's see what we can do with this. Quarter steps up, wins possession back for us. Kamara to Buendia, Buendia to Digna, Bailey thought about making a run, stopped, goes again, Buendia, back to Kamara, Kamara now looking for Bailey, and in the end, we've just given away possession there, which is a little bit disappointing, ball over the top, Chambers, yeah, that's you, mate, that's you, and, well, Vardy has missed a very decent opportunity there, and we come back for the goal kick, quarter to Kamara, I'd rather we didn't pass it to the defender, our player with uh, Vardy stuck in his back pocket. And Ings, I uh, just misjudged that one, it looked like. And we're not keeping possession very well here, and Vardy will not let us off a third time, surely. What a miss that is. Oh, oh we've got another highlight. Well, at least you might have an episode beyond uh, 15 minutes here today if we get some highlights in this one. Oh, we've done that again, and I said that he was not going to let us off for a third time. Var's going to check it, but I have a feeling that that was, uh, that was okay. And it is okay. And, well, we're just being very, very sloppy in possession, aren't we? We're just giving it away far too easily. And, yeah. I mean, we've given Vardy three chances in as many minutes, and is it any wonder that he eventually stuck one away? How close was it to offside? I mean, not really at all, was it? He bent his run beautifully and then stuck it away. All right, we're going to go more attacking. We're not going to die wandering here. Uh, it's I'm getting a little bit... Oh, you can probably sense. I'm getting a little bit annoyed. Just We've just completely forgotten how to score goals, it feels like. So we'll have a bit more of a go at them. Um, I'm going to berate because... Oh, that's a good take from Martinez there, to be fair. Hopefully we don't score and then I berate them after... <laughs> <laughs> after we score but yeah we're just we're just not doing well enough right now here we go with bailey bailey finally gets past his man can he get a ball into the box now he's done brilliantly as leon bailey there's the cross it's cole palmer it's headed away it's gonna get picked up by chambers though chambers with a one two and 
Tiago Almeida, who we actually had at Villa, I think, uh, a few FMs are back, uh, wins that. And, well, here we go again. Vardy, he's got... Well, he doesn't have his gold scoring boots on again. That is not one of his best efforts. Uh, all right, so let's... I think we need to, might need to raise the tempo up here and we'll look to exploit the flanks. Uh, we'll see what that does for us. Cole Palmer's not having a, a good day. Do we maybe call that already and say that that experiment's not working? Ollie Watkins out there as an inside forward. Uh, harsh on Cole Palmer, but he's on a booking as well. Oh, Jesus. We're just not playing well, are we? So 1-0 at the break. Uh, I'm going to call it on Denny Ings as well, I think. All right, let's get our act together and start playing football. I mean, we, we didn't play well, did we? We had well, not even really a half chance, to be honest. It was an offside goal, but that's about it. Um, all right, so Ings, we're going to get uh, Cameron Archer on. He took his chance well last time we saw him. And uh, uh, do we want to make another change at half time? Sabayos for Kamara. And we'll switch those two around, try and get Sabayos a little bit further forward. And uh, well, we'll encourage them, having told them off at half time. And hopefully, we'll see a benefit. Uh, Archer's in here. Can Cameron Archer tackle away? Leon Bailey! Oh, ho, ho, ho! Leon Bailey with a fourth of the season. Out of absolutely nothing. And it is 1 1 early in this second half. It was a bit of a nothing ball forward from Ceballos. Cameron Archer did well, to be fair to him. Put the defence under pressure. And Bailey just caught the goalkeeper ever so slightly off his line. And that is a stunning finish from uh, Leon Bailey. Is that going to wake us up? It's nice to see a goal, if nothing, <laughs> if nothing else. All right, come on, Bailey. You're our man today, mate. Buendia, can he put some extra pressure on here and win that back? He's doing his best quarter can't win the header and are we just caught out a little bit here oh and it is Thiago Almeida and we won't level for long um uh just wondering when D is not having a great game Martinez looks like he rolled his ankle and just uh <laughs> just fell over a little bit let's go attacking Let's berate them. We're feeling pressure and struggling, and it's... Well, it's not great, if we're honest. We're on the hour mark. Can we get something here? Almeida is somewhat tearing us a new one, if we're honest. And... It is all going very, very wrong. It's all going very, very wrong. Um... All right, so let's show them inside because Buendia is not having a good game. Um, I guess McGinn. Uh, we'll switch McGinn and Sabios around. But I mean, this is as bad as we've played since the drubbing by Manchester City, really, isn't it? Um, yeah, and I don't, I don't really, I don't really know what to do, if I'm honest. Can we win that back? We can. Watkins gets it wide for Bailey. Can he pull a ball across the box? We've got a lot of players in there. It's a Watkins header, and it is just past the post. Let's try encouraging. It's getting very, very late in the day now. Um, let's hit early crosses in. I mean, we are putting as much pressure on them as we possibly can. We'll go and get stuck in. And we need a goal here, don't we? We need a goal very, very soon. Bailey nicks it off uh, the Leicester player. He's got Cameron Archer with him. He uses him. Archer, back to Bailey. We've got players getting forward through the middle. Can we find one of them, please? Bailey, it's a decent ball! It's behind! Oh, Fares, the uh, defender there has got a block in. Digna with the corner. Can he find an Aston Villa head in the middle? It's headed away. He's going to get a second crack at it. No, he's not. It's blocked away. Bailey 
It's fallen for Diaz, uh, Douglas Luiz, sorry. And it is headed away. Watkins, Chambers is wide if we want to use him. But we need it. We need a goal now. Uh, it's the 88th minute. We need two goals to get to uh, extra time. And it needs to happen now. Bailey's in. Bailey. Oh, get it in the foul. Oh, has that stayed out? <coughs> it's just not meant to be today. <coughs> oh, Martinez has only played a 6.1 or 6.2 in goal. Bailey was brilliant. Everybody else was absolutely woeful. Yeah, that wasn't good enough. So there we go. Foxes get the better of Aston Villa. We are out of the FA Cup at the quarterfinal stage, which is horribly disappointing. And, uh, well, we've just fallen away. We've just really, really fallen away recently. If we go and have a look at the, at the schedule... You can see we've just sort of stopped scoring goals with the exception of uh, uh, Brentford and Bournemouth. We've not scored more than one in a game. And until that game, we'd actually not been defending too badly either. But it all went a little bit wrong there, didn't it? So that will do it for today. Uh, we will be back. I guess we come back for Arsenal and Manchester City. Hopefully, we're going to have to win pretty much all of these gay four games in between and uh, yeah, get to these two and, and just see what we can get. But uh, it's a tough run in and well, we need to put ourselves in a position to, to try and get European football next year. Then we could very easily find ourselves finishing seventh this season, I think. Maybe even worse if Southampton get their act together. All right, guys. Take care.